Since the 6th of July 2016, this untradeable item has been in the game and it has never been traded. The item? The Lucky Impling Jar. This item is incredibly rare and untradeable. To get one, you need to catch a Lucky Impling, spawning at a rate of 1 in 301 inside of Piero Piero and 1 in 101 outside, which means that it takes hours to attain a single Lucky Impling Jar. However, those days are now over. I've discovered a method to trade this previously untradeable item, allowing people to amass hundreds or thousands of this incredibly rare and bizarre item that could never previously be traded in a matter of hours. Most impling jars can be traded, baby through to dragon, and they are expensive. They are expensive because they give access to clue scrolls, and through clue scrolls, they're uniques. However, Lucky Implings are a strange item. They actually give direct access to the entire Clue Scroll drop table, all the way from easy up to master, without need for even doing a Clue Scroll. Every time that you open one, you could get anything from a 50 GP coif all the way up to a 12 billion GP third age pickaxe. It's truly random. However, Lucky Implings have never been considered that meta-changing, as there's never been a great way to get your hands on a large quantity of them. They are, unlike every other Impling jar, an untradeable item. You cannot buy them from the Grand Exchange, and you cannot trade them to another player. It is impossible. Well, until now. Attempts have been made to allow impling scouting, which has facilitated players in amassing more of them. However, this means having a vast network of players shouting out worlds and locations, and then dropping everything that you're doing to hop worlds and run halfway across the map to catch a single lucky impling that may or may not have been caught by someone else by the time you get there. It's definitely a miserable way to try and gather lucky implings, and really not that effective either. In telling the story of how I discovered how to trade Lucky Impling Jars, we need to cast our minds back to my extreme one chunk Iron Man series, Canifis Chunk. Subscribe to the channel and watch that series after this video, it's really good, I promise. In that series, I currently need to get level 89 Hunter to catch a Lucky Impling, using only Puro Puro as a training method. I have caught nearly 200,000 Implings, and of such have spent over 300 hours inside Puro Puro. Now, in my last video, I discovered an unbelievably bugged NPC hiding in plain sight, the Imp Defender. By abusing this bugged NPC, I was able to smash XP per hour records within Puro Puro and change the trajectory of the entire One Chunk community forever. The bug I found utilised the fact that 99.9% .9 of the time, Imp Defenders are broken and don't actually grab your impling jars to release them as intended. But I discovered that once a week on game update day, imp defenders actually work. Only for a single catch, but they do work. However, to cut a long story short, this was enough. I could have them release my dragon implings in sequence so that I could recatch them for mass amounts of hunter XP on an account that can only gain about 15 to 19k hunter XP per hour normally. It only works for a short period of time, however, it works. The video where I explained all this, again, link below, did really well. Huzzah! And I moved on with my life. Except I didn't. I was convinced that there was more to the story of Imp Defenders and that I could use them in a more powerful way. What if I could transfer Implings? Not just recatch my own over and over, but move them from one account to another. And what if one of these implings was entirely untradeable? Would the most bugged and broken NPC ever overwrite the untradeable status of these jars and allow transfer? Well, I waited until the next Wednesday and brought out the main accounts to find out. Welcome LSE and LSE4. Yes, I'm the kind of loser that has two max total accounts, leave me alone. On LSE, I've managed to amass six lucky implings over the last 250 hours I've spent in Puro on Canifis Chunk, and it was now time to see if I could transfer these over to LSE4. Would this tech work? 
Before I roll the live clip, I think it's worth bearing in mind and highlighting again that until today, it would take hours to catch a single lucky impling. Okay, let's see if this works then. Free my lucky impling, please. Nope. Entangled. Can we catch it? We can, right? We've got tradable lucky implings, everyone. There we go. Signed, sealed, and delivered tradable lucky implings exist. It worked. It only works for a couple of hours each week, but I was able to trade a lucky impling jar from one account to another, and very, very quickly at that. It would certainly be possible to trade 100 or more lucky implings before the imp defenders stopped working each week. Now, you may be asking yourself, why is this useful? You transferred a lucky impling from one of your accounts to the other. Big whoop. Well, let me give you an analogy. The Third Age Full Helm, cool item, insanely rare. If I asked you to gather this item yourself, it would take, and I'm not exaggerating when I say this, thousands of hours across multiple years to get one. However, luckily this item is tradable. It costs 98 mil, which is still a lot, but not unattainable. This is because despite the helmet being our 1 in 250,000 item from a clue reward casket, via trading with other players you have access to every single clue casket that has ever been opened. For you, the third age helm is unimaginably rare, for the game at large, it isn't. That small change from untradable to tradable makes all the difference when it comes to access, and the same logic can be applied to the lucky impling. As an untradable item, your access is very limited and you're likely to only spot a few per year. However, across the entire game, there'll be dozens being caught per minute, and now you have access to all of them. But who is this useful for? In my mind, five groups of people. Collection log minded skillers or other limited accounts that cannot complete elite or master clues very easily and want to tick off otherwise extremely tricky collection log slots in the elite and master tier of the clue rewards section. YouTubers who want to open hundreds or thousands of these things on video for your entertainment. Collectors who just want to own as many lucky implings as possible and update hopers. It has long been rumoured that Lucky Implings will be updated to get rid of the hundreds of junk items they currently roll and only roll the unique items from Clue Scrolls. If this happens, Lucky Implings will be infinitely more valuable and in the post-tradable Impling Jar world that I have created, the man with all the Lucky Impling Jars in his bank will be king. But lastly, everyone else. The sellers. Sellers? Yes, sellers. What I have created, linked in the description below, is a Lucky Impling trading center on Discord. The purpose of this Discord is to connect people that want to buy Lucky Implings with those looking to sell Lucky Implings. I'll be letting the free market decide the price of Lucky Implings, but I imagine it will far surpass the price of Dragon Implings, seeing as they are 10 times rarer. The idea is that you connect with a person who wants to buy or sell, payment is given per lucky impling, and then you arrange a world and a place on a Wednesday morning after a Jagex update to transfer the implings. That random lucky impling that you spotted behind the Sears bank, well, guess what? Now it isn't untradeable, you can sell it via the lucky impling trading centre. But now the Discord is pretty bare bones. However, if the center proves to be popular, I'll invest the time into making it a proper services Discord as quickly as possible. Sadly, Iron Men cannot receive transferred implings like this, so unfortunately, the method is exclusively for main accounts. However, 
thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed this content, then please subscribe. To any new or returning viewers, my next episode of Cannabis Chunk will be out next week, and I'll be exploring a newly discovered, meta-defining, and game-breaking bug. And I hope to see as many of you on that video as possible. So please subscribe to see it as soon as it goes live. Otherwise, please click on one of the videos being recommended to you on the screen right now, and I'll see you in the next one. See ya.